Hello kids, Shubhamangalam at Little Scholar High School. Myself, Mrs. Nazrina, taking class 1 science. Taking class 1 science. Already we have discussed new terms, children. Now we will learn the lesson. See, food we eat. What is our lesson? My need. My need means food is important for us. We need food, yes. Why we need food? From where we get food? How many types of foods are there? Or how many meals are there in a week, in a day? How many meals we will have in a day? All that we will learn in this lesson. Food we eat. Yes, children, why is food important for us? Yes, food is very, very important for us. Without food, we can't stay for a day also. Food gives us energy. Food gives us energy. We will be strong. When you eat food, when you drink milk only, you will grow taller. You will grow taller. You will be strong. So food is very important. You should eat all types of food. You should drink milk. You should eat all types of fruits. You should eat all types of vegetables. So that your, you will be healthy and, and memory power also will increase children. So food is very important. We should eat all types of food. Food is Food gives us energy. How food gives us energy? Now you are writing, studying. You will play. Oh, we are getting that energy through food only. Whatever we eat, that food will give us energy to do our day's work. We will study, we will read our work, we will do our work at home. So all this we get from food only. We are getting energy to complete our day's work. And also we will be strong. We will be strong and also you will grow if you eat food only you will grow you will be strong also healthy and if you don't eat food you will be thin and lean so food is very important you should eat all types of food all types of food whatever your mother cooks that is good for your health whatever your mother cooks that is good for your health you should not say i don't want this mummy i don't want that vegetable i don't like this fruit no you should eat all types of fruits you should eat all types of vegetable whatever your mother cooks it is very good for you so you should eat should not ask i want burgers i want pizza no that all are junk food that all are junk food they will spoil our health if you eat all such things rarely you can eat but not regularly if you eat all such type of junk food your health will be spoiled you will be sick you will go to doctor so if you don't want to go to doctor you eat whatever your mother prepares at home whatever your mommy prepares at home now we will learn food whatever food we are eating rice rice you are eating chapati you are eating dal you are eating curd you are eating egg you are eating chicken mutton you are eating all this whatever we eat that comes from plants and animals some food we get from plants and some food we get from animals some food we get from plants some food item what we eat that from we get from plants and some from animals so what food we get from plants like vegetables all vegetables brinjal onion cabbage cauliflower lady's finger beetroot radish all these are all these comes under vegetable all these vegetables where we get plants give us plants give us vegetables all these plants all these vegetables will grow some will grow on plants some will grow under the soil now next fruits yes all the fruits also we get from plants mango mango fruit we'll get from mango tree coconut fruit we get from uh, coconut uh, pro pomegranate we get from pomegranate tree guava we get from guava tree so all fruits also we get from plants all fruits all vegetables also we get from plants now pulses what are pulses your mother will prepare the with what seed no all types of seeds will be there all the pulses also we get from plants rajma uh, seeds green color seeds mother will do it will be covered all the seeds also we get from plants only rajma seed peas green seed all types of pulses seeds fruits vegetables all these we get from plants and some food also all this we eat from plants whatever plants give us we are eating and also whatever animals give us also we eat some like chicken yes chicken from where we are getting from n n gives us chicken mutton from goat x n gives us x so all these we get from animals this also we eat food that we get from plants also we are eating food that we get from animals also we are eating is it clear children some food we get from plants some food we get from animals both we eat both we eat 
some yeah, sometimes uh, uh, we prepare food from plants and sometimes we prepare food from animals and eat so like what we get from animals chicken mutton eggs all these we get from fish all these we get from animals we eat now next vegetarian what is this vegetarian who are vegetarian children people who eat only this vegetables fruits pulses seeds they eat only this they won't eat animals animal food what are animal food chicken mutton egg what are animal food chicken mutton egg no these we get from animals this they won't eat vegetarian means they eat only this vegetables fruits seeds pulses they won't eat this non vegetarian means they eat both the food that they get from plants and also food that get from animals is it clear vegetarians they eat only food that we get from plants food that we get from plants non vegetarian means they eat food that we get from plants and also from animals both they will eat they are called non vegetarians now next topic raw food cooked food what is raw food raw food means without cooking eating without cooking now cucumber is there cucumber means kheera kakdi we'll say so that we will eat without cooking we will eat without cooking carrot also you will get for salad carrot cucumber no without cooking we will eat they are known as raw food they are known as raw food like carrot we will eat without cooking carrot we will put we will cook and also eat without cooking also if your mother cuts and give you carrot you we will eat cucumber also you will eat mint what is mint pudina what is mint children pudina leaves fruits fruits we will cook and eat banana mother will cook and give you no pomegranate she will cook and give you no fruits also we will cut we will remove the peel and we will eat fruits also we won't cook so they are they are called raw food they are called raw food raw food means the things that we eat without cooking the food items that we eat without cooking are known as raw food now nuts are there what are nuts kaju badam kismis all that comes under nuts so nuts also we will eat without cooking yes early morning you are eating children nuts yes it is good for health you should eat we won't cook nuts we can eat like that only so all these are known as raw food raw food is the food that we eat without cooking the food that we eat without cooking are known as raw food now next come cooked food cooked food means the cook food that we eat after cooking only the food that we eat after cooking now rice chapati meat eggs this all we will cook and eat rice how we will eat we will cook we will keep on stow after cooking only we will eat chapati also we will make a dough then we will make chapati then on the stow we will prepare chapati and eat meat yes we will purchase we will wash and what mummy will do she will put on stow after cooking only we we'll egg also we will boil and eat we will fry and eat so these all things some food items are there that we eat without cooking and some food items are there that we eat after cooking rice chapati meat eggs all these we will cook and eat fish all these we will cook and eat so raw food means the food that we eat without cooking cooked food means the food that we eat after cooking next comes meals of a day meals of a day how many meals we will have in a day three meals how many meals three meals breakfast lunch dinner say how many meals we will have breakfast lunch dinner breakfast when you will have in the morning the food that you eat in the morning the food that you eat in the morning rice like rice we will eat in the morning no rice we will eat in the afternoon so that is lunch that is lunch for breakfast what you will have children idli dosa chapati all that we will have in the morning so breakfast that is known as breakfast for lunch what we will have rice dal curd night time what you will have is again rice some will have chapati curd dal curry no so morning what food you will eat that is known as breakfast afternoon what food you will eat that is known as lunch night what food you will eat that is known as dinner so how many meals we have in a day day we have three meals in a day breakfast lunch and dinner in between breakfast and lunch we will have a snack yes lunch and dinner also we will have a snack uh, breakfast where you will do you will do breakfast at home yes after some time after two three periods we will have 
snack period in our school. After snack, lunch. After lunch, you will go home. Then evening again you will have snack. Then dinner. So in between, in between we will have two times snack. In between we have two times snack. But important three meals are important. Sometimes we may have snack and sometimes we may not have. But three, these three are very important. You breakfast you should do in the morning only. When your mother gives you in the morning, you should eat it at the time only. No, mommy, after some time I will eat. You should not say like that. Morning you should have breakfast, lunch you should have in the afternoon, dinner you should have at night. So, how many meals we have in a day? Three meals we have. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. Is it clear, children? Now, open your textbook page number 23. Open textbook page number 23. Our science textbook page number 23. See here. What this girl is doing? I had dash for breakfast today. See, she is having breakfast. What she is eating? Bread. She is eating bread omelette. So now what you had today breakfast that you will write in this line children. If you had idli in the morning, you write idli. If you ate puri, you write puri. Chapati means chapati. Write what you had today morning, you write that. And that food item picture you should draw here. Chapati means draw chapati picture. Okay. Uh, idli. Dosa. What you had today. That picture you should draw and write. Picture you should draw and write. Why do we need food? Already learned. We need food to be strong. We need food to be strong. We need food to be strong, healthy, to grow. Food gives us energy to do our work. Food gives us energy to work, do our work. Where do we get fruit from? Say from where we are getting food. We are getting food from plants and also from animals. Some food item we will eat. Whatever plants give us. Some food item we will get from animals. So, like vegetable, fruit, pulses, seeds we get from plants. Chicken, mutton, egg we get from animals. Raw and cooked food. Next topic, raw and cooked food. I told you, you know, carrot. Raw means without cooking. Eating the food items without cooking. Cooked means eating the food after cooking. Cucumber, carrot, mint, pudina, fruits, nuts. All this we eat without cooking. But rice, chapati, meat, eggs we will eat after cooking only. Yes, children, is it clear? Now, different food for different age groups. See page number 25. Different food for different age group. When you are small, baby, you eat, you add rice, chapati. No, when you are baby, you add only milk, only milk. According to the age, we will eat our food. When you are baby, you add only milk. After growing little, two years, one and a half year, your mother used to prepare a soft kichdi and she used to give. Why? When you are small, you did not have any rice chapati because you don't have teeth at that time. You don't have teeth at that time. After, when you grow little, one and a half year, two years, then your mother used to prepare soft food and give you. So, according to our age also, we will have food. According to our age also, we will add food. Now, you all are good in first class. You can eat all. You can eat all types of food, all types of food that we get from plants. Some eat all types of food that we get from animals also. So now whatever your mother gives you, you should eat. You are big now. You should eat. Then only you will be strong and healthy. You will be strong and healthy. Now, after, now you have old people. Elderly people means old people in your house. Like your grandmother, great grandmother. Your great, who is great grandmother? Your daddy's grandmother. Your daddy's grandmother. Grandmother means your daddy's mother. If they are old, they will eat like you. No, they will eat soft food. They will eat soft food like chapati. They will uh, soft uh, chapati, soft, soft kichdi. They won't like hard food because it, uh, when you are a baby also, you don't have teeth. After growing older also, teeth will not be there to chew. So they like to eat soft food. According to the ages also, we will eat different type of food. I am supposing when you are sick, you can eat food. No, when you are sick, you won't feel taste. Taste, tongue won't give any taste when you are sick. So, you, you like to eat different type of food at that time. What doctor says to you to eat at that time, that only we will eat when you are sick. 
now when you are okay good normal we will eat all but when you are sick whatever diet food what doctor says to you that only you should eat like what the will doctor say to you should eat idli you should eat bread that only we will follow this is known as special diet special diet next what are these children fruits are there pulses are there dal are there cereal milk egg these all are healthy food these all are healthy food now mummy is preparing curry to make curry tasty what she will do she will add spices she will add spices what are spices turmeric mirchi Hmm, all these are spices. If you put uh, mirchi only, you will have taste. If you put salt only, we will have taste. So all these spices will make curry tasty. Curry tasty. So we need to put all the spices to make the make the curry tasty. And next topic is meals of a day. How many meals we will have in a day? Three meals. What are those? Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Is it clear, children? Read till till here properly, children. Complete. Next, we will learn healthy eating habits and table manners. These two we will learn in the next class. Is it clear, children? Complete. Read the lesson. Read. I have given already new terms. If you learn the new terms, you will be able to read the lesson. So till here you read page number twenty six. Till here you should read the lesson. Next two topics are there. I will, we will discuss in the next class. Is it clear, children? Read it. Read your textbook and learn the new terms. Thank you, children.